All right, let's just dive right back into the questions, as I've got a lot more to go through. Dragonfly101 asks, what what are your thoughts on PETA? Um, I know I made a joke saying, like, I'm sure PETA's pleased about this when I saw, like, animal abuse um, in a Shane Dawson video. Um, I'm against animal abuse. I'm against killing animals for, like, the sake of this, like, wearing fur. Um, but I am not against killing animals for food. I understand that it's a basic need of survival, that we need to eat meat in order to survive. I know people are going to disagree with me on that, but these are just my opinions, my beliefs. So, I'm against abused animals, I'm against using them for like fur and stuff, but I think PETA takes it just a little too far. Alright, so what do we have next? Ooh, now we get into the fun ones. The Pretty Girls 21 asks, Hey, how much you hate yourself, loser? This is for Shane. Look at yourself. You a loser and have no life. Stop feeling Siri for yourself. They're worse thing in the world than you. Wait a minute. That wasn't a question. How am I supposed to answer something that's not a question? Whatever. Let's just go on. Love Music 0321 asks, Why did you start watching Shane Dawson in the first place if you hate him so much? Okay, this is a question I get fairly often, but it is a fair question. I will admit that. Um, I have answered this before, but I guess I can answer it again. Um, abridged, I guess. The reason that I watch his videos and do commentaries on them is kind of to present a, like, a different viewpoint for fans of his. It's like watching his stuff and saying, okay, so why do you guys find this funny? Okay, he's mocking animal abuse. What is funny about this? Okay, he's like making racist remarks. What is funny about this? I mean, yes, I don't like his stuff, but it's kind of like the commentary I do challenges the people who do like him to be like, okay, so you like this stuff, but why? So it's just like pointing out and to his credit, he do he has done a few things. I've said this before, um, I'll cover more in the later. He has done a few good things, but for the most part, it's just like, I watch his stuff and it's like, where is the humor in this? Why is this considered funny? Um, Felicity Cheese Sweetie asks, why are you so freaking mean? Um, I wouldn't consider myself mean as much as I am realistic. As I've said, I just give my honest opinions and be like, why is this funny? I don't think giving a healthy dose of reality to someone isn't being mean. I think it's just being, well, human. Or you can just look at it as me being sarcastic. St. Patrick's Day Massacre asks, what inspired you to get on YouTube in the first place? Um, this kind of gets back to my entertainment channel. That, that's going to come up a lot. Um, but what got me started was watching some of the more popular LPers like Traskinari, Ultra J-Man, well now Mega Ultra J-Man, and Deceased Crap. I really liked watching their stuff and I really liked, I, I really got a laugh out of it. It was something I enjoyed watching regularly. And a lot of my friends were like, you know, you're kind of funny when you play video games. You should do the same thing. I'm like, eh, why not? I'll give it a try. And thus far, a lot, I do have a decent-sized fan base. It's not nearly as big as this one, but an audience is an audience. So it's honestly the Let's Play community that kind of got me started on YouTube. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say is I just like doing LPs. I like making people laugh. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Stepmania40 asks, are you going to be doing an IQJ commentary on Shane Dawson's offensive oral history video now? I actually had to ask him to clarify on this. He's talking about the Martin Luther King speech. I think out of all the videos that he has ever done, this has got to be the most requested one that I have ever seen. And I'm going to tell you this right now. Yes, I will do it, but it's not going to be for a while. I have something special in mind to do with this. It's a little hard though because the Martin Luther King speech itself is only, like the segment itself is only like a minute long. So there's only so much I can do with this, but I do have a few ideas that I'm going to try and work with. And I want this to be like a special one considering this is like 
the only video, to my knowledge, that got pulled of his. That was just so blatantly offensive. Um, Dragonfly101 asks, what are your thoughts on religion? I kind of covered this earlier, saying I'm a Christian agnostic. Um, key beliefs of mine is that I believe in the principles of the Bible, I believe in God, but I don't believe in organized religion as being, like, the true answer. I believe, like, all the different uh, branches of Christianity have some aspect of the truth, but you can't rely solely on one of them. And um, I do believe that science and the Bible can coexist, and I don't believe that one disproves the other. Goat Rules One asks, "Did you have inspiration outside the internet with your videos?" Um, this is actually going to be a short, interesting story, but I did start making videos long before I well, I made a video. It was about 50 minutes long, and I made it before I started this channel and my entertainment channel. Um, but what got me started into filming, like to begin with, was in my sophomore year of high school, um, geometry got me into like making videos. <laughs> and I know you guys are like, huh, geometry, a math class? How did that inspire you to make videos? Basically the situation was this, is that I had two friends of mine, one's currently in the Navy, one really don't talk to anymore, but we were, we were just doing horrible in the class. Math, not my best friend, wasn't their best friend either. But we were just doing horrible in the class, and it was like, we're going to fail if we don't come up with something. We need to, like, get something, like, extra credit-wise. And as a joke, uh, my friend Mike, well, Mike's a common name, and for other guy, we'll just call him Pat. Well, yeah, his name's Pat. It's, it's not going to kill him if we use the first name, because they're pretty common, but Mike and Pat were my friends. And Mike just kind of joked around, like, giving, like, all... Right, it's like a what what the lesson would be like if it was a movie. I kind of like added on to it, and like the teacher was like so eccentric, like she had like all these like weird little ideas for like uh, giving lessons. So we kind of like we're going like on this like joke script, and then it's like you know what if we were to do like a review movie for the final, and did that for like extra credit. And we gave the idea to the teacher, and it's like okay, well maybe we can pull this off. And then immediately she's like, okay guys, so Joe, Mike, and Pat are gonna make this extra credit video that's gonna help you all review for the final. It's like crap. Now we have to do it. And to be perfectly honest, um, I'm amazed that we managed to do it because I had no filming and editing experience prior to it. Like I was, it was just pathetic. Like looking back at it. I kind of laughed because, like, oh, my God, this is so bad. Because, <laughs> like, I didn't even know how to use Windows Movie Maker. It was that bad. I, I ended up using this one thing. We, like, did every we did every scene in one take. And, like, we would start off by, like, being, like, okay, three, two, one. And then start the thing. And then, like, go off the lines. But it, it, was, it was so awkward. But it ended up getting us enough points to pass the class. And I'm like, you know, I kind of like making movies. And... Maybe I'll do this in the future. And it kind of carried over, like, on time. I kind of got more practice, did a few independent things, and eventually started making videos regularly here on YouTube with this channel and my other one. Um, Dragonfly101 asks, What are your thoughts on Fox News? Are they the right people to talk to, or are they just an entertainment show? Um, truth be told, neither. It's just painful to watch. If you want a reliable news source, my opinion, CNN... Uh, Fox News is so much bias. I mean, just look at Bill O'Reilly, look at Glenn Beck, even though he's not on there anymore, but it, it's just, just, no. It's just painful to watch. Alright, what do we have next? Uh, Metroid Murderer asks, what do you think of J. Pizzle 1122? Again! <laughs> uh, this is one of those things I probably should have looked up, but I've never heard of the guy, so I really can't give you an honest opinion about him. Sorry about that. Awesome Rants asks, if someone told you that they knew Shane Dawson personally and that he was the nicest person they had ever met, how would you react? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I would tell you it's a moot point that someone says that he's nice. Because I actually talked about this not too long ago with one of my fans, is that 
someone can tell him that he is the nicest person, that he does a lot for his family, which, to his credit, he does. He cares about his mom. He cares about his brother. I, I can respect that. But what people fail to realize is that what he does on YouTube is what people are going to know him by, just like how what I do on YouTube is what people are going to know him yeah, by. I could have someone come on and say, well, he does volunteer work at an animal shelter, and he does all this nice stuff, and he's such a great person to talk to. But... I would say that most of you associate me with the, like, most of you, well, like, my Shane Dawson rant, I'm sorry, I'm a little incoherent here, my infamous Shane Dawson rant is what most people, especially Shane Dawson fans, associate me with. They see that video, and that is what they associate me with. They see me, they see me as that kind of person who was yelling and screaming. And it wouldn't matter what people would say because it's honestly irrelevant. So that's what I would say is that it's like, you know, it's nice that people think he's nice in real life, but what he does, he's known as a YouTube personality, and he's going to be known for what he puts on his channel. So it's kind of irrelevant if someone says that he's the nicest person they've ever met. Uh, who's your biggest influence on YouTube? Asked by Mr. Wrestling Fan 8. Um... As stated before, I first started, obviously, the art stream was the inspiration for this channel, along with people like Raining Ramsey and Muse um, Productions. He's, he really doesn't post that much here anymore, but I still like some of his stuff. Oh my god, there's so much noise. Um, but before that, I know, getting back to my entertainment channel, I believe somebody asks, yeah, <laughs> that's like the next question. Um, entertainment channel, again, influences were... Ultra J-Man, Mega Ultra J-Man, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm used to call him that, Deceased Crab, and Trasnari, particularly Trasnari. I really loved all their Let's Plays, and again, it was just like, you know, I could probably do this, and I enjoy making people laugh there. So, those guys, if you like, like, if, you, if you're if you a fan of the LP genre, check them out. They, they, I'm pretty sure it won't be disappointed. And that leads me to the next question by Noob Cruncher. Will I or others ever be able to talk about your other channel? I said this is going to come up a lot. Um, the other channel, it's not secret really what it is. I've said that if you want to, if you really want to know what it is, message me and I'll tell you. Um, you can see my face in there. That's why I'm really not too concerned, like, showing my face, like, even though it's, like, long hair, full beard, kind of giving you a, a glimpse of what I look like beyond the shades and hat and why it kind of annoys me when people are like why don't you just share your face it's like i have it's not a secret what my other channel is it's well i guess you can say it's a secret but it's not a well-kept secret and that a lot of people know what it is um but the reason that i don't talk about it much is because i want people to find that channel and watch the videos there because they genuinely enjoy the content as such like, as with this channel, I want people to be subscribed to this channel because they like hearing what I have to say, they like my videos, and they're actually interested in what I'm doing. And the same applies to my LP channel. That's pretty much what I do, or just Let's Plays. And I would rather have people watch those videos because it's like they want to see, like, my failing at gaming and, like, me losing my temper and, like, screaming at the computer like a madman. Okay, well, doing all that but not because of somebody on YouTube. Um, I want people to watch them because they genuinely uh, like the sort of thing that LPers do. And that's why I don't talk about that much. And plus, it kind of anno it effectively nullifies the you're just jealous argument, even though it still comes up. It's like, you know, if I'm just jealous of these people, why would I make a separate channel to uh, do this when this channel is far more popular and yet, I have like a fraction of the amount of videos here. I like, because on my entertainment channel, I have like four times the amount of videos. Well, almost five times the amount of videos as I do on here. And yet, I have a fraction of the amount of subscribers. But as I said, an audience is an audience. So it kind of raises like, if I'm just jealous, why wouldn't I put all those videos on that channel and get an audience that way? And. It just kind of goes back to my original point that I want people to watch that because they actually do like what I do there, and not just because I do these rants here and they're like, oh, I want to support your other channel by just giving you another subscriber. It's like, if, you, if you're subscribed, I, I hope you'd watch, but that's 
pretty much all I have to say. I know it's probably complicated and a little incoherent, I'm sorry. Um, but that's really all I have to say on that, is if you really want to know, message me and I'll send it to you, because I really don't want to publicly disclose it. Uh, Miss Rain River asks, what would you say if I said that you were the smartest YouTuber on YouTube? Um, to be perfectly honest, I feel that I'm far from the smartest YouTuber. I understand that a lot of people have said that I'm their favorite person, and inevitably, someone's channel is going to be another person's favorite. And I appreciate your your support, but to be perfectly honest, I'm just a bored college student with a video camera. I really don't think I'm all that smart, but I really appreciate the support, but truth be told, I really think there are people who are far better than I am. Alright, so next, Miss Rain River again, if you could say anything face to face with a king, prince, and duck of douchebags, what would it be? I don't know who the duck of douchebags is, and I kind of already covered the prince of douchebags, but if I had anything to say to Mr. Fred Phelps, who's the king of douchebags, um, probably just say something, I'd probably just remind me, like, hey, remember me? You know, the guy that you pissed off at the protest? You know, I'm making all these videos, and probably start, like, a debate with him, be like, so you guys say, like, that God hates fags and stuff, and then, like, quote the scripture, be like, well, it says right here that this is a girl, and I would just, pre basically, whatever he said, I would just refute, um, using the very scripture that he's quoting. Um, but I wouldn't, like, instigate anything. If he, I'm not gonna try and, like, attack him, but if he were to attack me, that would be better, because then I could have him arrested, but, again, I doubt that'll ever happen. And Sword and Signals kind of transitions on that, asking, How did you meet Fred Phelps, and will you do a video on iJustine? we got two-parter here. Uh, first off, let me just say, yes, I will do a video on iJustine down the road. I'm giving in to peer pressure. Um, I'll make a video on her eventually. Got a lot of stuff going on right now. But I met Fred Phelps at a protest going on in Chicago. And it was like the last... It was, it was like early to that no it was like crap when was it it was like early 2010 that was where it was when i met him face to face there and i was just like what are you doing and it, he pretty much just gave like the you're a fag enabler thing and i'm going to hell along with everybody else that america's doomed all that fun stuff and i'm like okay well you're obviously out of your mind i'm gonna try and do something about what you're doing and Lo and behold, I end up doing this channel. I mean, yes, there's the Stop the Hostility, but I would rather not manage a third YouTube channel. Uh, the Pokemon Master Matt asks, Did you ever like Epic Meal Time? Uh, truth be told, never really watched them. Didn't know that whole, didn't know a whole lot about them up until the uh, Drunken Mess Meal whole thing. And even then, it's just kind of like, eh, really never cared for them really didn't watch too much and I really didn't know that much about him. Uh, Desomnia Blue asks, does all the fanboys flocking to your videos annoy you or has it just gotten funny to mock them and whatnot? Um, really doesn't annoy me at all when people like just send me like hate mail and stuff. I just, I actually kind of have like an album of just like comments that it's like really like, my personal favorite is someone just like, you may have a nice hat and a nice audience, but you're not that nice! And it's just like, okay. So, it really doesn't annoy me at all. I mean, I honestly just laugh at it. And I, it's hard to take people seriously when they can't, like, do, like, form a coherent sentence. Then again, I'm one to talk. I'm, like, I'm probably, like, rambling. Uh, let's go on. Tweeter TV one asks, would you like to watch porn? That's an inappropriate question, but I'll just go ahead and say no, I would not, as many of you are probably like, bullshit! Uh, thing is, I've seen a lot of women abused, and truth be told, I just see porn as a way of treating women as objects. I'm really against that, and I just don't feel comfortable ever. I just really was never comfortable with the treating of women as objects. And plus... Face it, if you watch porn, you're probably going to get a lot of viruses on your computer. So, no, not really. It's not my thing. Alright. 
Just out of sheer curiosity, who is your favorite guitarist or musician? Asked by Super Orion 91. Favorite musician or guitarist? I would have to say would be John Petrucci from Dream Theater. Uh, Dream Theater is probably one of my favorites, one of if not my favorite band. And John Petrucci, um, he's one hell of a guitarist. I I really enjoy their stuff. Um, another band up there would be Coheed and Cambria. Um, some of my other favorites are like Camelot, Sabaton, um, you probably never heard of them, but I like a lot of their stuff. Um, if you're into like heavy metal stuff, that's primarily what these guys are, just different uh, genres of metal, uh, mostly heavy and power metal, but as Ramsey said, it's all metal. Uh, you might like them, so go check them out if you like that stuff. <sighs> And I kind of answered that this next question by Dragonfly101. What music do you like or dislike? And will I ever commentate on the music I like or dislike? Um, as I just said, I'm really into like the metal, rock. I like I have like every single genre of music. I have like alternative, country, death metal, Christian metal, electronic, techno, ska, um, power metal, polka. Yeah, I have polka, sue me. <laughs> um, but I, the only music I really don't like is rap. And even there, I have like a few, I have a little bit on here, but I, I absolutely hate certain bands and certain singers. Yeah, like that guy. <laughs> uh, let's, let's not speak of that guy. Um, yeah. Anyway, next question. Jesse Camp Fan Club asks, first concert that I went to, uh, this may surprise you, but I've never been to a concert. Um, really not a whole lot to say on that. Sorry. Uh, Pokemon Master Matt asks, your opinion on abortion? Um, I am against abortion. I know there's going to be people who are like, you're against abortion. That's going uh, to be a right. Hear me out. I know that there's some there's a gray area where people feel it should be allowed, and I agree. I agree that if it's like a late term thing, where like if it's even if it's a late term pregnancy, if the mom's going to die if she doesn't have an abortion, then it's like you might as well try and save one of them. But in most cases, uh, people who get an abortion are like, oh, I just didn't use a condom because I, I we just tried the pull out and I didn't have a condom on prom night. Now I'm pregnant. It's like sucks for you. And a lot of these abortions um, are because of just people being irresponsible, and for the most part, that's why I'm against it. Uh, Love Music 0321 asks, do you like Shane Dawson in any way at all? Can you say anything positive about him? Um, actually, yes, I have. And I mentioned this earlier, saying that um, his videos, like, on suicide and bullying and his prayer for Japan it wasn't just the fact that he had at, he didn't have AdSense enabled but it was the fact that he present took the material that was he took the subject that was serious and he addressed it appropriately and that's why I kind of go on when I say you can make a serious message without having to do all this stuff and that's what I would hope to see is maybe like a more tame sense of humor but that's one of the things I can say is that he does when there are serious subjects he has made some pretty decent videos that I really can't complain about uh, Mr. Fang 777 asks fuck you oh that's not a question what, what is with the people saying these things again how am I supposed to answer that it just says fuck you um, all I have to say is right back at you, pal. Um, how did I meet Fred Phelps? Um, again, that kind of goes back to, um, before. I think I might have answered that, but it was at the thing in Chicago. He was, um, there, and I confronted him, and he called me a fag enabler. Fun stuff. Love music. 0321 asks, have you ever realized that when looking at your most viewed videos that the ones with a lot of views have Shane Dawson in the title or thumbnail? Think about it. Don't you think you've only watched because of Shane Dawson? Well, a lot of my viewers do like the fact that I ran on Shane Dawson. I won't deny that. 
but I made it a principle that I will never, ever, 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 ever enable AdSense on any of my videos that have to do with YouTubers or on any serious subject matter. There's one that I did enable it, someone said, you know, this is a serious subject, and I agreed and took down the ads. I won't deny that I screwed up, but I have, I said, I want my fans to hold me accountable, and they have. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to make a single cent off of a single video that I've made on Shane Dawson. And if, even though he's in the title or the thumbnail, I have IQJ commentaries right next to it, so it's not like... Hey, I wonder if Shane made this video called IQJ Commentaries. And as regards to the thumbnail, even before I got the partner, I think someone's like, well, he could make a custom thumbnail and put Shane Dawson in there. Um, before I became a partner, I wasn't able to do that. So, and he still came up in the thumbnail. It was just that I was doing a commentary. So, yeah, really didn't have much of a say in there. Um, I realized that people are going to criticize me, but... There's really not a whole lot I can do about it. He's in the thumbnail because I'm doing a commentary on his video. Let's see. How much money would it cost you to allow Shane to run over your testicles with a monster, monster truck and proceeding to spit on your face? Oh, well, from his iPhone by the obstacle. Um, not a single cent. There's just a certain line of self-respect that I just will not throw away. And there's not a single amount of money that could make me do that. It's just an issue of self-respect. Uh, the Tony Cito asks, what do you think of Totally Sketch? I, I, I feel so horrible because everyone's like, what do you think of these people? What do you think of this guy? What do you think of this? And it's like, I've never heard of these guys, and I didn't even bother checking them out. I'm like, I feel really bad because I can't give like an honest answer, but you know, I might cover some of these people down the line give like a more detailed response, but as of now, I have not seen any of their stuff. Uh, Love Music 0321 asks, are you jealous of any celebrities? Be honest. Um, well, honest response, no, I'm not, because the thing with celebrities is there's no privacy at all. I mean, I don't want people following me around all the time. I don't want to be in a situation where it's just like I can't go out in public and people are like, oh my god, it's this person! And it's just not its just not for me. I mean, maybe that has to do with some slight agoraphobia. I don't know. But I really don't envy the life of celebrities because, yeah, you may have the money, but you get no privacy, and a lot of people will try and, like, put you in a bad position and ruin your reputation. Uh, Dragonfly101 asks, do you think the world is going to end in 2012? Um, nope. I think the whole thing is just a big superstition that everyone's just looking for a reason to panic. We're almost supposed to end like five times already, and it didn't happen. I don't think the 2012 is going to be any different. Ah, oh, Christ, I'm losing my voice now. <laughs> What are your thoughts on the... Oh my god! <laughs> Another one of these, like, rock and roll must live asks, What are your thoughts on the channel The Momo Zone, and what do you think of its philosophies? Are they similar to yours in any way, shape, or form? Again, um, didn't check these guys out, and uh, there's really nothing to say. I'm so sorry, guys. I feel... I feel horrible. Like, I should have at least, like, skimmed some of their stuff. Maybe I will during the break, but probably not. I'm like, my voice is starting to run out. All right. Oh, God, it's all right. It's 30 minutes again. All right, one more question. Could you please explain why Fred Phelps is the worst of the worst? Asked by Complete Mystery. reason I say that he is the worst, and this will kind of get covered in a later question. Um, I think he's the worst of the worst because compared to Shane Dawson and Philip DeFranco, Philip DeFranco, Ray William Johnson, um, all of them have not done anything nearly as bad as Fred Phelps has. The guy is just pure evil, and he's abusing the First Amendment right. He's got so many problems with him, and we'll go more about that as I f eventually get to it. I know I've said that, delayed it again. I'm just, as you can see, I'm not in the best condition right now, and even doing this little uh, special is taking a lot out of me but 
truth be told, it's just that compared to other people on YouTube, they really haven't done that much worthy of criticism. So, yeah. Alright, hopefully I can finish up the rest of the questions, and I'll also include something at the end. I asked you guys if you wanted me to do like a five facts sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, I'll be doing that, and I also have a little bit of a thank you I want to give you guys. So, stick around. Only one more video, hopefully. Yeah, we're almost done with the questions, so bear with me. Only one more to go.